Banditos, by the end of this video, you're gonna know which are the hot or not named weapons in the glorious year five of the Division Two 2023. <laughs> There are 11 assault rifles, 9 SMGs, 10 shotguns, 10 light machine guns, 9 marksmen, 7 rifles, and 10 pistols, making up a grand total of 66 legendary named weapons in the Division 2. And guess what? I have ranked them all. But this ain't your ordinary tier list party. On this channel, we do things differently. A little class, a little sophistication. Puppy monkey baby. We're sorting out the impactors from the duds with a bit more nuance, care, and feeling using broader categories of bad, okay, good, great, and those godly pieces that'll make you question if you've transcended into a higher gaming realm. So it's still kind of a tier list, but with words. I rank the named weapons based on their outright PVE performance, the overall package of perks and stats, and their outright gun feel and usability on both inputs. There's gonna be some stuff you agree with, a lot you might disagree with. But before you leave your comment with superior suggestions, let me tell you something. Puppy. Monkey. Baby. The bad named weapons are not necessarily the stuff of your worst nightmares. They're more like the dream where you're running late for the meeting and you're pantless. So not terrible weapons, but a combination of having very few perks, as well as feeling quite lackluster on the battlefield. It's perfectly possible to pick one up and actually enjoy the experience they have to offer. Enter the Lightning Rod, a snazzy named PF45 pistol in the LZ with the perfect salvage talent, an 85% chance to reload on a successful takedown. Truth be told, the PF45 won't make foes cower. It's almost at the pistol hierarchy's tail end, and despite its 26 round capacity, Capacity, that never seems like it's enough. The lightning rod's refill promise rarely surfaces when you actually need it. For heroic elites need more than one mag to fall. Remember the 1.2nd reload? It's swift enough to make perfect salvages absence overlook. All seems rather pointless. Now here's a tale that'll leave you chuckling, or maybe just scratching your head. Meet the loot goblins holiday gift to you. The SMG they've ironically named the Slayer. This is the name Tommy Gun SMG with a unique talent called Hidden Rock and the headshot supply confused. Cooldown is 20 seconds. You can only get this from the Loot Goblin during the winter holiday season. The SMG is masquerading as a delightful box of Christmas cookies. But here's the punchline. It's about as threatening as a box of cookies too. That's right, it lobs actual snowballs at the rate of fire that's hardly thrilling. Trust me, I've tried using it and let's just say if you're looking for an SMG, that's no more than a festive joke. This is the one. The Surge, a relic-like dial-up internet. This M4 variant lurking in the LZ boasts perfect spike. A headshot serves a dish of 25% skill damage. Yet, here's the rub. Our techno pals lack noggins to target. Sure, in its prime, this was the cat's pajamas for skill happy folks, but today, newer talents offer a two-way street, buffing both gadgetry and guns. On a six skill tier tech setup, this rifle shoots fluffy kittens but it's perfect for those banking on skills to shine but taking extra time out of cover to line up headshots is not going to play nice with that tactic hey banditos the community we have built together wouldn't have been possible without you so as a thank you for supporting my channel and the community i'm bringing you the hookup on member perks including even more Division 2 content and the celebrated gaming music playlists. If you're not part of Texas Players Club, now is your chance. The Mozambique Special is an M45A1 pistol that's not exactly at the bottom of the barrel, but it's far from being the standout star in its category. You can get it both in the LZ and DZ. Equipped with the perfect breadbasket talent, each body shot stacks a bonus 50% headshot damage for the next headshot within a 10 second window. The potential max stack is two, creating a tantalizing opportunity for increased damage output. Although a build that pushes headshot damage over the 300% mark would be enough for other handguns, the truth remains. The time it takes to eliminate enemies with this pistol just isn't optimal for survival. Let's chat about the Sharpshooter's 93R, an experience that kicks off with excitement but fizzles into chaos. Sporting perfect and wavering, this pistol offers a fleeting sniper's reprieve. Swapping to it grants 400% weapon handling for five, 
seconds, yet that's hardly worthwhile due to its unruly burst fire kick. The talent refreshes from kills, rarely seen. Even a mega headhunter talent boost can't rescue it from mediocrity. Oh, and it's confined to sharpshooter specialization, restricting its use. It's like bringing a rubber knife to a gunfight, boasting the lowest sidearm damage of all sidearms. Can we move on? Oh, the pinprick, a DZ dwelling firearm that seems to have missed the memo about its time in the spotlight. Its perfect first blood talent yearns for attention. Upon peering through a scope with 8x magnification or higher, the first duo of shots, whether they escape your firearm in the stillness of a combat hiatus or after a complete reload from emptiness, gleefully morph into a headshot damage upon impact with any part of the target's anatomy. Alas, in a twist of fate, the rise of Headhunter has cast a shadow over this once shining talent, as the sniper realm now craves bona fide headshots. Nevertheless, the SRS itself is a very nice weapon to use. Meet the Tabula Rosa, an LMG that missed its date with the design table. This LZ L86's talent is perfectly steady handed. Each hit ups accuracy and stability by 1%. Hit 75 times and your mag gets a free refill. With impressive base damage, four mod slots, the catch is the small 50 round magazine. LMG's promise firepower but this went less is more in a bad way. Non-perfect steady handed gives 100 stacks of stability and accuracy. Looking for more shots on target? The perfect version sets you back faster and more often. A free reload on a 50 round mag with a 2.2 second reload time is just not seat jumping material. There's no point in running the Survivalist D50. Here's why. You can only wield the sidearm when you've got the Survivalist specialization locked and loaded. The talent it brings to the table is called Perfect Sadist. It delivers a solid 25% weapon damage boost to bleeding enemies. That's amp damage, but... The base stats of this gun have been nerfed below the standard D50, so when we pit the survivalist D50 against its non-perfect counterpart, the tale becomes clear. Against a bleeding target, the survivalist version delivers hits at around 2.7 million. The standard D50 with a non-perfect sadist hits at 2.9 million. The send-off shotgun flaunts the perfect distance talent, granting 100% optimal range. To claim this powerhouse, complete technician field research. The KSG variant has potential, but hungers for a better talent. Sadly, it falls short here. It packs a punch, rivaling the M870's base damage. Even John Wick gives it a nod. The allure? It holds 12 rounds, delay and reloads. But ironically, its reload time, double the M870's, trips it. Shotguns demand aggression, not waiting. The hiccup? Subpar handling leads to multiple pulls, contrasting high-powered shotguns like the M870. This bullpup thrives when pressed against the enemy enemy's nose, practically breathing down their neck. Doubling distance sounds promising, but trust me, it amplifies the weapon's issues. Alas, this sits on the poo-poo list, hitting nowhere near the mark. The Pyromaniac, a named M4 rifle of yesteryears, flaunts its one-trick, perfectly ignited talent, a 25% amp damage boost against burning foes. Strong talent, great weapon, but better options can't be overlooked. To exploit this one, you'll need skill tiers for consistent burns, detracting from the weapon's effectiveness. It was once relevant, but in sync and future perfection emerged. Now, its one way benefit pales against talents boosting both weapon and skill damage. The base M4 is usually a crowd pleaser, but this sure feels weak when shooting targets not on fire. Meet the Boomstick, a double barrel shotgun with the perfect pumped up talent, granting a 5% weapon damage boost for 10 seconds, stacking to 25%. Obtainable in the light zone, this shotgun drops like bad jokes from the gaming gods. The boomstick packs two rounds of damage and rapid fire, but with the perfect talent equipped, reality sets in. A chunky two second reload time. Even firing both shots on a stacked build, most heroic targets still stand. Soon you realize you're running a firearm that enjoys reloading more than actually you know, shooting? The Darkness is an MK20 SSR. It's too weak to chain kill, has major ammo issues, and nobody cares about 25% weapon damage to blinded enemies, amplified or not. This weapon fell out of the useless tree and hit every branch on the way down. It didn't help that they nerfed the blinder firefly skill back in the day either. But in case you like to collect things, you can pick this up in the LZ or the DZ, and someone is probably willing to pay you to take it. <laughs>
Take your hat off, boy. That's a dollar bill. The Firestarter, a name sought off shock and you get with the Firewall Specialization. Its talent, Primer Rounds, reduces 50% burn resistance for 5 seconds. This named version starts with a base weapon nerf, and the damage bonus shifts from armor to health at a meager 7.5%. Here's where the kicker lies, it's not just about landing hits, you need to play with fire literally you debuff switch to the flamethrower but by the time you're ready to roast the timer's almost done it's often better to use a stronger weapon and then hit them as they burn you can't even use this unless you are equipped with the firewall specialization boo the okay weapons well they're the enigmatic outliers who never quite followed the crowd the square pegs in a world of round holes they may not be first draft picks but when the call comes they can step up although in a way that's not not just quite headliner material. Blame not the commando for its lower placement. It's the stingy ammo reserves for SVDs that bear the brunt. This gun can be acquired from the LZ or DZ and beneath its surface lies a decent weapon paired with a solid talent. Enter perfectly naked. With striking an enemy without armor gifts you a glorious 50% headshot damage boost for a satisfying 8 seconds. It's a party for all enemies really, from purples to golds. The moment their armor crumbles, you refresh the talent. And here's a kicker. Even shoot their tech counts towards naked. Super easy to refresh the talent. That 50% headshot surge could potentially turn you into a chain killing maestro. But alas, the SVD's unruly handling issues dampen the fun. Not to mention the pitfall ammo reserves for MMRs make these challenges all more glaring. Ah, the Relic, a G28 marksman rifle that finds itself entangled in the same vexing predicaments as the Commando. This LZ discovery, unfortunately, suffers from a similar conundrum. Accentuated by its significant damage drop-off and comparatively lower base damage. However, one can't help but marvel at its generously proportioned magazine. Alas, the relic comes bearing the gift of perfect determined, which does offer a smidgen of assistance. Bestowing a headshot fatality onto an enemy ensures that the ensuing shot, regardless of where it lands, will metamorphose into a resounding critical headshot. But one can't help but feel that the magical allure of perfect determined would be more fittingly showcase on a weapon of greater potency. An LMG named a quiet roar might not send shivers down your spine, but neither will the weapon itself. This is none other than the named stoner lurking in the LZ. Its perfect overwhelm talent grants you 12% weapon damage boost for 12 seconds when you suppress an enemy. And you can stack this effect up to four times. Sure, it's a nice bonus, but again, your targets are in cover. Speaking of cover, the stoner comes packing a whopping 250 round magazine, a stable 20% stability mod and a combo of low RPM that can leave you wishing for more oomph. In group play, keeping foes suppressed might be as challenging as getting your cat to take a bath, but the stoner isn't entirely a damp squid. The base weapon itself is decent. Let's just say you might be better off looking for a talent that roars a bit louder. The Everlasting Gaze, found in the DZ and wields the potent MK17 as its base. But here's the catch. It's all about the talent. Behold, perfect perpetuation. Where landing those headshots blesses you with a 50% boost to status effect damage and duration for your next status effect application. Sounds grand, right? Well, it's like having a limited time offer. You get that sweet bonus, but you've got to wait 16 seconds for the cooldown afterwards. Now, if you're all about status effect builds, you might have a beefy crowd to control, and this isn't going to do it for you. But don't fret, this rifle's niche is targeting those pesky bosses who think they're above status effects with natural immunity. With that 50% nudge, they'll be reminded who's boss. The profit isn't much of a profit and its inconsistency can be deadly. It's the name Police 686 Magnum, found only in the LZ. Enter perfectly determined. Again, land a lethal headshot and the next shot's a guaranteed critical headshot. Strategy wise, it's not great for consistent chain kills. It's a one time dance. This talent is all about seizing the moment, capitalizing on precise aim and unleashing headshots that'll leave enemies flat. Problem is, in most content, perfect determined's crit doesn't add value you can already earn determined. Also, the assigned weapon lacks the um for chain killing with headhunter. Non-perfect determined on a stronger weapon 
is a better choice. Just do that. Saved from the poo poo list by its solid base weapon. Presenting the stage left. An LZ SOCOM M1A rifle armed with perfect sledgehammer. Before you raise an eyebrow, know the talent is all about grenades. Deal damage with one and your target gets a mark. These marked foes take a whopping 40% more special damage to armor and negative 10% movement speed. I get it. Grenades aren't your go-to. Timing that throw, factoring in the fuse, isn't reliable in battle. And here's the kicker, choosing bullet therapy over grenades might be wiser. Because let's face it, grenades in this game are boo. This less than part-time talent limits solo potential, but in a team, things can change. But watch closely, the squad likely doesn't even need the damage boost for that spawn kill. Fire grenades usually cause enough chaos. Raiders and speedrunners use it for niche plays, but for the average Joe, it's okay to leave it backstage. The lefty is quietly lounging around in the LZ and it's got perfect sledgehammer too. But this is the ACS-12 shotgun variant. Spoiler alert, it's chilling at the bottom rung of the power ladder, firing what seems to be exceptionally speedy marshmallows. This shotgun has you saying, I rather. But hey, what else are we going to do with those grenades? This name Negev should rank higher. Introducing Carnage, the LMG that's good at making a good first impression. You can uncover this in the DZ or LZ. What sets the Negev apart from the rest? Well, it's like the speed demon of LMGs, boosting an impressive 150 round magazine and a rapid fire rate that leaves others in the dust. But then it's talent. Perfect Sadus steps onto the scene. It dishes out a hefty 25% amp damage to enemies who are experiencing that lovely bleeding effect. The twist? The talent's effectiveness is tied to the bleed. In the grand scheme of things, although the carnage itself is a formidable weapon, the talent is a wild card. Hit or miss, and mostly miss, unless you're using an ongoing directive build, which is a worthy companion, but probably the only one. The Virginian. This rifle is complicated, let me explain. It's the named 1886, packing the strongest base damage among rifles. One mod slot, a slow reload, and a five round mag. Its talent, perfect boomerang, adds a 75% chance to store a bullet on a critical hit. Next shot, 50% extra damage. Sounds good, right? Here's where it gets tricky. Heroic content demands more rounds resulting in frequent reloads. The twist is that the 1886 is the only rifle in the game strong enough to consistently one-shot chain kill with headshots when paired with Headhunter. With Headhunter, the game changes. You can bag five headshot kills with a single mag, yet Headhunter becomes a real star here, stealing the show and casting Boomerang into the shadows. Furthermore, you can get the same result or better with the standard 1886 and a utility talent like Preservation or Determined. You can clear whole heroic control points in a few minutes this way. The ACS-12 shotgun aptly named Rock and Roll is a prized possession found exclusively in the Dark Zone or through named item caches. The ACS-12 boasts speed among shotguns, yet sacrifice Sacrifices raw power in the process. Enter the perfectly extra talent, offering an impressive 50% magazine capacity boost. But here's the twist it comes at the expense of a damage talent, like trading a muscle car's engine for a cup holder. Why? The ACS 12 falls short in time to kill in a game where damage rules, but it secures a spot on the OK list thanks to its knack for stacking gear set perks, like Striker and Heartbreaker, aiding in valuable stack accumulation. It's a must have for your arsenal. The Backup Boomstick, a shotgun that fires two dynamite sticks. Are you a pirate? Because this could be your dream come true. Available in the LZ, this named sawed off shotgun adds a modest 2% base weapon damage. But let's be honest, who cares about that when you're wielding a hand cannon with a whopping 1.5 million base damage? The named version doesn't bring extra fireworks, but the sawed off variant steals the spotlight. Why? It's a sidearm you can form a dynamic duo with the Bulwark Shield. The catch? This shotgun isn't quick at acquiring targets and often misses even when up close. Nonetheless, it's a barrel of fun. It's quirky, but that's part of the charm. Zooming in on the P320X Compact, a pistol armed with perfect preservation and a talent for armor restoration. Defeat an enemy and watch as your armor repairs itself by a solid 12% over 5 seconds. Headshots crank that repair up to a hefty 24%. But 
math, this sidearm is bound to the gunner specialization. Quick math, that's an easy 34% armor on kill for any build. And you've got a clever strategy for mid-battle armor refresh. The base damage out of the box is in nerf territory. It takes a few extra rounds to down an enemy, but the rapid firing rate helps. Beware, preservation's five second repair time is a mixed blessing on a sidearm. It's a nifty healing option, but swapping out before five seconds means missing the full heal. And let's be real, we want to get back to our main ASAP. The Maxim 9, exclusively tied to the technician specialization, doesn't boast the most impressive stats out of the gate. The real standout is the perfect spike talent. Land headshots with this pistol and enjoy a solid 25% skill damage boost for 15 seconds. Yet, it only has a single mod slot and its damage output doesn't set the world ablaze. Spike as a sidearm talent comes with a catch. Switching back to your primary instantly deactivates the talent. With stellar skill focused primaries in your arsenal, this is a dilemma. In the good section, you'll find guns that not only get the job done, but they do it with finesse. These weapons are incredibly capable when wielded by skilled hands, boasting a ceiling that might just be higher than some of the great tier contenders. The fate of these weapons is tied to their user. The hands that wield them can either catapult them into stardom or relegate them into mere mediocrity. These weapons populate the starting line in the race course of excellence, and it's up to you to drive them to glory. The Black Friday LMG surprised me with its performance. As the named M249, it boasts perfectly unhinged. You get a solid 22% weapon damage boost at the expense of 25% stability and accuracy. Found in the dark zone, it comes with a full set of mods, sizable base damage, low RPM, and a roomy magazine. The dynamics of this weapon is quite interesting. The low RPMs is what actually makes it a reasonable weapon to control, so the impact of unhinged is tolerable. Its stability mod and some striker gear did wonders to keep it on target. While constant 22% damage bonus is enticing, talents with direct cost to a build's effectiveness tend to take a backseat to make room for better alternatives. The mechanical animal found in the LZ can be underestimated if you don't realize its potency, especially when combined with a hybrid build where prioritizing weapon damage is key. The future perfection talent works like this. For 19 seconds, each skill grants one skill tier, stackable up to three times. As skill tier six, kills grant a 15 second overcharge. However, there's a 90 second cooldown. This weapon forms a potent hybrid build, whether primary or to bestow overcharge on a six skill tier setup. But not being able to attach the laser pointer mod is puzzling. The talent's strength is also its drawback. The perfect version merely extends the skill tier duration by four seconds. This incremental benefit doesn't often outweigh the allure of a preferred weapon equipped with the non-perfect talent. Moreover, the lengthy overcharge cooldown and its sporadic application limit overcharge utility as a primary strategy. Ah, the Scalpel, a tactical 308 that also wields the intriguing Future Perfection talent. This is the kin to the Mechanical Animal, an identical talent adding skill tiers adorned upon a distinct weapon. Pairing it with the ever popular Headhunter talent ensures that you dance with this talent more often than not. Still, the unyielding overcharge cooldown places its activation beyond your direct control, casting doubt on its integration into your grand design. Despite the pitfalls, the talent holds merit, as does the rifle itself, yet let's be candid, the 308 doesn't necessarily dazzle the masses and you might forgo for another, especially because that extra 4 seconds for the skill tiers is not a game changer for a chain killer. The Stinger LMG is the named M249 LMG you get by referring a friend. It declined this interview, so we decided to put him in this category because we know the M249 is solid. The talent is unique, it's called Swift, and with a simple cover to cover move, you get an easy 20% damage for 15 seconds, which is a great amount of time. Downside? A cover to cover move isn't always in the cards and can be situational, leaving you without a damage talent when you need it most. Like when you tried using the ninja bike exotic knee pads at one time, and we all remember how that went. The glory days is a great companion. This LZ Marvel comes packed with solid base damage, decent RPM, and a full mod set. Its perfectly near-sided talent is its shining star, offering 100% stability at the cost of 35% optimal range. This nudges you towards close encounters. This weapon shines in confined spaces where its stability transforms your firing into a symphony of accuracy. Its rapid controlled fire strategy is most effective. However, this comes at a cost, the sacrifice and versatility for close quarter combat efficiency. It's a weapon with such stability, why not go for all headshots? A 
great way to get the most out of this weapon's handling indeed. The Safety Distance is a beloved pick for agents, featuring the MPX SMG, a well-rounded weapon with full mod options, decent damage, and a speedy 850 RPM. And the best part? You can snag it right from the LZ. The Star Perfect Outsider. Knock down an enemy and you're granted a significant 125% boost in optimal range and accuracy for a swift 10 seconds. Suddenly, the MPX turns into a disguised assault rifle. It's sleek, no doubt, yet a question arises. Why not opt for an assault rifle with a potent damage talent instead? Valid query. However, the safety distance holds an edge with its high crit chance, setting it apart from health damage focused assault rifles. But here's the catch. While the MPX handles the talent admirably, it's situational. There are times when its perks might not align with an aggressive frontline playstyle, making you yearn for a more direct damage boost. The designated hitter, an SR1 treasure from the LZ graced by the perfect reformation talent. This enhances skill repair by 40% for 15 seconds upon headshot. The sniper waltzes with mega mod versatility and hefty damage, promising potent eliminations. Yet, Reformation faces preservation, a quick healer as its rival. In team dynamics, healers opt for broader support, not sniper scopes. Thus, while the designated hitter shines, it yields to practical talents and weapon alternatives. The Invisible Hand Don't be fooled by its subtle presence. In the world of ARs, this AUG shines with effectiveness. Available in both LZ and DZ, it reveals its potential through the perfect Allegro talent, a 12% fire rate boost. Simple yet powerful, this talent talent offers straightforward and satisfying gameplay. Shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. RPM boost captivates players. So why might the invisible hand go unnoticed? Well, while the RPM boost delivers potent burst damage, it might not stand out as a whirlwind in a world of swift firing weapons. The invisible hand isn't everyone's cup of tea, but it holds a niche of players who appreciate its understated excellence. Perhaps it's time to explore this cult following. Are you ready to join the cult of the invisible hand? The Dare, the GR9 LMG that challenges expectations. An LZ treasure, it wields perfect flatline, a talent that boosts your weapon by a hefty 20% amp damage against pulsed enemies. Point, shoot, and watch those numbers climb. The dare boasts a satisfying RPM and a colossal magazine. Don't let its modest base damage dampen your enthusiasm. The overall experience matters. But let's address the quirks. The dare includes an 8x optional zoom scope, trading 30% headshot damage for 5% crit chance. A cake for coffee trade. And the quirks continue. This LMG, strangely, won't let you use the laser pointer to pulse enemies for the talent. It's like inviting someone to a dance, but being forbidden to dance together. Quite a head scratcher indeed. Why is the apartment SMG so beloved by agents? It's not just the nitro speed boost revving the RPMs to 1020 in the mag's front half. The secret sauce? Wait, that's a secret sauce. It's the MPX SMG with high base damage and a sturdy 850 RPM. Score it from the DZ or named caches. The talent is perfectly measured. The top half of the mag, plus 20% rate of fire, minus 27% weapon damage. Bottom half, minus 20% rate of fire, plus 33% total weapon damage. Interesting part, this talent's always on. No kills required. Now, DPS stats say that measured falls short of some alternatives, but in your hands, your second brain will convince you otherwise. The time to kill shines, basically the same as its competition, at least in heroic solo play where it turns the battlefield into a playground. Zoom in on the Desero's special, a pistol with perfect optimus. It brings a unique advantage. As ammo drops, damage surges by 4% for every 10% ammo gone. That's a quick 40% cycle for 6 rounds. Desero's special took a hit out of the box, but balanced damage and RPM suit the 6 shooter style. It stands out with swiftness and remarkable stability, turning it into a headshot machine. Wield it and you'll find comfort in putting all six rounds into the enemy's cranium. Quickly, regrettably, they favored stability over damage to targets out of cover and it's exclusive to the demolitionist specialization. Good news, you could confidently run it full time with a well-crafted build. The Cabaret, an MP5 ST with perfect thunder strike. It adds a juicy 40% amp damage to shock targets. Snag it in the light zone and it's no wallflower. Full mods, rapid 800 RPM, 2.1 second reload. Here's 
here's the twist. Cabaret can't shock, so it's relying on external factors like St. Elmo's Engine Exotic AR. To capitalize, you must dance the weapon swapping tango juggling between the MP5 and St. Elmo's Engine. And then you'll see Thunder Strike's advantage flatten out with the weapon swap time. In the end, you'll just wholeheartedly embrace St. Elmo's. It's a superior all around weapon anyways. But if you're looking to stretch out the shock ammo between big fights, the Cabaret has your back. The Big Show is an MG5 LMG featuring Perfect Thunder Strike 2. It's a fairly competent LMG with three mod slots, a 100 round magazine, and a juicy RPM. Its performance is notable even without the talent buff. However, it's the same story as a Cabaret and needs pairing with the shock inducing St. Elmo's engine. And that means this weapon will suffer the same fate, abandoned for the St. Elmo's engine due to its more well-rounded performance. The Big Show is like that one friend who always brings snacks to the party, but ends up competing with the pizza delivery guy. Sure, it's got charm, but when push comes to shove, you know who you're calling for the real action. And it's not the LMG. The Grudge is the named CMMD Banshee with perfectly vindictive. You can find it in the LZ or DZ. Kill an enemy with a status effect, give allies within 20 meters 18% crit hit chance, and 18% crit hit damage for 20 seconds. The weapon's solid, but with a twist, it's slow reload at 2.4 seconds. But don't worry, crit buffs for 20 seconds? Fantastic and refreshable. The Grudge could climb higher on the list, but the reality check? Solo play offers better options, yet suits group play just fine. But it leans on external factors, like gear or skills for status effect magic. Careful not to rob its quick killing potential though, so tread carefully with status effects and skill tiers on your build. The Swap Chain, MP7 SMG, and LZ Gem not all are aware of. It's armed with the perfect unwavering talent. Swapping to it brings 400% weapon handling boost for 5 seconds. Kills refresh the buff, keeping you in the zone. That 400% weapon handling? A backstage pass to a world of seamless killing action. It abolishes reloads, keeping advantage in swarm fights. The catch? It thrives on a two weapon style and swap timing for max buff. The MP7 has a small 40 round mag twist, non-perfect and wavering on a speedier SMG with a larger mag cannot shine this perfect version. The O Carol is a great weapon, chopped down by a chop artist in a chop shop, making its way all the way down here. In the good section, it's an M44 sniper and you can only get it during the holiday season from the Luke Goblin. But here's the twist. Two mod slots? Gone. Replaced by a trusty scope, sporting 35% headshot damage. The base damage is through the roof, perfect for those satisfying chain kills we all adore. But oh boy, those enhancers got tossed out the window for a talent called Twinkling Lights. And only at night with Twinkling Lights can you fill their heads with festive might. There's no added benefit, no secret power up, but I'm pretty sure Rudolph off with this sniper. The Rail Splitter, a DZ exclusive, not just a firearm, but a precision masterpiece that dominates the battlefield. The Citar boasts the unique, perfectly accurate talent, boosting accuracy by 50%. With 900 RPMs, it promises an exhilarating shooting experience. What sets it apart? The partnership with Perfectly Accurate. Pull the trigger, and shots just find their mark, making you an unrelenting force. But the Rail Splitter has limitations. No laser pointer or magnifying scopes, but its beauty lies in simplicity. No complex calculations calculations or mechanics. Just point and shoot. The great weapons rise above the pack. They'll stand by your side through thick and thin. And believe it or not, in specific scenarios, they can even outshine the godly contenders. These weapons boast rock solid overall packages backed by even stronger performances. Sure, they might have a few weak spots, but those can easily be worked around through clever builds or tailored playstyles. You're not opting for the absolute best, but rest assured, you won't be lagging too far behind. The new reliable LMG sits at the pinnacle of LMG damage. This named RPK effortlessly straddles the line between LMGs and assault rifles, making it perfect for aggressive playstyles. With a snappy RPM and a magazine that's more generous than a buffet spread, you won't find yourself crying over spilled bullets. It's a true force on the field, and let's not forget its star talent, perfectly optimized, giving you a 30% dose of weapon handling that'll make you feel like you're playing an action movie montage. With damage that pierces through targets out of cover and a knack for Dishing out armor devastation, this bad boy is more than just reliable. It's your ticket to making enemies second guess their life choices. You can get it in the LZ or the DZ. And the must have stamp is practically tattooed on the LMG. Behold, the artist tool, a hidden gem awaiting appreciation in the LZ. This is the SIG 716 rifle with perfect rifleman. While not in the limelight, it's no slouch. It has solid mid tier damage and 320 RPM that lets you shower targets relentlessly. Plus, the 40 round magazine is loud 
Ravish. Headshots get you 66% bonus damage for 5 seconds. Headshots refresh that, meaning you can revel in bonus damage all day for 5 seconds. Close enough. And just when you think it can't get better, the handling. This bad boy is like a dance partner with all the right moves. Surprised Ecom's long stick made it here? Me too. This Model 700 has perfect Ranger, which amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 4 meters you are away from your target. Ranger is one of the best damage talents for snipers, and this one is basically the same base damage as the White Death, with even more rounds in the mag. And that's its differentiator. It looks like a deathly long reload, and it is when reloading from empty, but these bolt actions can reload in between shots to prevent that hassle. Anyone up for deer hunting? Meet the Manic, an enigmatic AK found in the dark zone or named item caches. With its unique talent perfectly overflowing, this weapon presents a proposition. Every second reload from an empty magazine bolsters your base magazine capacity by a whopping 100%. That's an impressive 80 round capacity for one of the most potent ARs you'll come across. The talent transforms your weapon into an ammunition behemoth, offering a staggering magazine capacity that catches strong foes off guard, transforming this AK into an unrelenting force to be reckoned with, catering to firepower and staying power. Also, AK have a recoil pattern more forgiving than most give credit to. It's easy to overlook the gems that dwell in the shadows, but the Manic is a prime example of a weapon that demands attention and recognition. Good Times LMG is the promise and the punchline rolled into one. With hefty base damage courtesy of it being an M60, its alias is the Pig and is Rambo's weapon of choice, boasting a whopping 150 rounds in the bag, a mod collection fit for a fashion show, and an RPM that's slow for calculated precision limb removal. The talent? Perfect fast hands. Picture this, every critical hit earns you an 8% reload speed boost. Stack it up to 40 times and suddenly your reload is snappier than a cat meme. This is how Usain Bolt reloads. I know most LMGs fall short in this game, but this one is great. You can get it in the DZ or by farming named item caches. Try it on your team build too. The Savage Wolverine packs a punch that's truly rewarding. With perfectly close and personal, taking down a foe within 7 meters empowers you with a 38% weapon damage boost for 10 seconds. While the range might might seem restrictive, the damage bonus applies to all targets at any distance, a feature that transforms it into an equivalent of the Dark Winter for assault rifles. It is a honey badger earned through completion of your firewall specialization research. Though it sports merely three mods, its performance is nothing short of perfection. The RPMs and handling align perfectly for optimal combat efficiency. To maximize its potential, adopting an assertive stance to refresh the talent is recommended. Just be cautious of its lengthy reload time, which doesn't bode well for intense in-your-face combat. Fortunately, its staggering capabilities offer a buffer. Emily's Guard, the P90 SMG boasting perfect preservation. Taking down an enemy treats you to a 12% armor repair over 5 seconds. A headshot kill catapults that to 24%. With a generous 50 round mag, it's like having an extra mod slot tucked away. And no treasure map needed. This one is lurking in the light zone. With a commendable damage and a speedy 900 RPM, this SMG nestles between the MPX and Vector variants. Embrace Emily's guard it can be a game changer the test subject packs a punch ideal for skill focused builds also wanting a boost to their primary weapon obtainable in the lz or dz it features perfect in sync striking an enemy provides a 20 percent skill damage boost for five seconds damaging with the skill grants a corresponding 20 percent weapon damage for the same duration both buffs together offer a rapid 40% boost to both. The weapon has a commendable damage, RPM, reload, and a 50 round magazine. However, it has only three available mods, lacks compatibility with magnifying scopes, and the laser pointer. Its talent depends on active skills, making you vulnerable when skills are down. Meet the Harmony, the long distance cousin of the test subject, lounging in the DZ. It's the Resolute MK47, a respectable rifle that pulls its weight for skill builds, and if you're rocking the Capacitor Exotic as your main squeeze and you're on the hunt for a trusty backup, look no further because the Harmonies got your back, adding a dash of range and a pinch of destruction to your arsenal. Meet the Quelebre, a shotgun with a weird name but a nifty talent. Snag it in the LZ and it brings a companion, perfect jazz hands, boosting reload speed by 30%. Now listen up because this isn't just any shotgun, it's the M870, an undisputed heavyweight champion. Its hefty damage 3 mods and stability power distribution give it all the right moves. Shotgun's Achilles heel? 
reloading. Enter Jazz Hands. It propels this shotgun, but what keeps it from godly ranks is its enigmatic nature. Shaving off 0.4 seconds helps, but is it a game changer? Especially when the mighty pummel on a non-named counterpart gives free reload and added damage. Yet, Calibre shows you don't always need that extra 40% from pummel. Why? Because it still chain kills with one shot when paired with Headhunter. Its tactical advantage? Weapon rotation, without losing the talent. Introducing the mop, a 612 shotgun with a nifty trick. 10% armor on satisfying kills. Found in the light zone, it's a treasure. Comparable damage to the Scorpio exotic shotgun, it offers the speediest reload among shotguns, hefty base damage, and great RPM. It's user friendly, but demands close encounters for optimal impact. The name of the game is quick time to kill and a quick time to heal. Guess what? This shotgun serves up both on a silver platter. That's survival. You're familiar with the routine by now. The godly weapons. Well, they're the creme de la creme, the apex predators of the named firearms world. The name Kingbreaker isn't arbitrary, it's well deserved. This TKB can be acquired in the LZ and arrives with a comprehensive array of mods. It accommodates the laser pointer and features the perfect flatline talent, conferring a substantial 20% amplified damage boost. A straightforward point and shoot approach yields dependable damage output, further heightened by the substantial firepower of this AR, ranking among the finest in the game. Initial handling may reveal reveal some challenges, yet with a bit of practice, the recoil pattern's near vertical trajectory makes it surprisingly manageable. Demonstrating remarkable versatility, this weapon shines brightly, with its primary limitation being the necessity for a pulse to fully capitalize on its potential. All hail the king. The Shield Splinterer might stumble off the tongue, but it's far from a joke. To wield it, complete all your Washington DC hunters, amass eight ivory keys, and unlock the weapon cache at the White House. Each week, the Gunrunner offers a version for purchase after you unlock. This is a straightforward point and shoot armament, triggering perfect optimus upon firing, raising weapon damage by 4% for every 10% of ammo depleted from the mag. It has a lean selection of only three mods and boasts a punchy kick. However, underpinned by robust base statistics, it delivers impressive damage figures and provides a staggering impact that commands attention applicable to any target at any range crit or not. The Shield Splinterer is a weapon to be reckoned with, embodying firepower that speaks volumes in combat. The legendary M1A Baker's Dozen Rifle proudly earns its place among the divine weaponry, a true no-brainer for point-and-shoot aficionados. It boasts top-tier DPS and conventionally lurks in the LZ or DZ. And oh boy, it comes with a nifty trick, perfect lucky shot. The talent that solves the M1A's Achilles heel, it's Petite Magazine. With this trickster, your magazine gets a hearty 30% boost. Miss shots? Not a problem. They return to your magazine with a flawless 100% chance. It's like having your own shooting range where bullets never leave. So strong, even without a damage talent, you'll decimate anything in sight. Believe it or not, they already nerfed this thing. Granted, it might not be the most exhilarating choice for every gun enthusiast. Some might even call it a bit vanilla, but this is where the Baker's Dozen truly belongs, securing its rifle spot in the Hall of Legendary Armaments. The Cold Relations PP19 SMG might be something you're sleeping on. It features perfectly strained, gaining 10% crit hit damage every half second of firing, stacking up for 80% crit hit damage. The RPM on this paces its performance. With two mod slots, it might seem restrained, but it boasts a full-size magazine and hefty base damage. The strain talent is point and shoot, and you can squeeze more from the upper damage limit by milking the trigger, too. It's not just powerful, but easy to wield and easy to get. Your hands on in the LZ. Sleptner, the divine deity of LMGs in the Division 2. It reigns supreme as the named MG5. This powerhouse is your reward for complete leading your gunner field research. Its unique talent, Perfect Frenzy, is like a relentless adrenaline rush for this LMG. For every eight bullets in your magazine's capacity, you're gifted with a 3% boost in rate of fire and 3% more weapon damage. And when you're reloading from empty, hold on tight. With its high RPM potentially rocking a 100 round mag, it practically slices through trees and enemies like a chainsaw. Of course, Frenzy keeps you on your toes, demanding timely reloads. But let's be honest, it's worth it because wielding Sleppner is like conducting a symphony of devastation. So if you find yourself standing in front of the business end, well, let's just say your day is about to take a rather unfortunate turn. For speed enthusiasts, the Dark Winter is your SMG Nirvana. This vector's perfect killer triggers a 50% crit hit damage boost for 10 seconds after each takedown. It rocks a full set of mods and even the linked laser pointer for the spotter chest talent. However, the 10 second timer on killer can feel like a race against the clock, especially in the sprawling landscapes of open world encounters. A solid build is essential, well prepared for the challenge. In aggressive hands, it's a symphony of destruction and close quarter combat. Thrill and carnage await in this Dark Zone treasure. The 
Dark Winter isn't just a must-have, it's a must-experience. The Tsunami SASG-12 Shotgun with the perfect pummel talent. Two kills in a row trigger a magazine refill and a hefty 40% weapon damage boost for 10 seconds. It's easy to wield and to obtain from the light zone. This shotgun is the epitome of easy button with its potent pummel talent. Although it lacks the heft of other shotguns, its large magazine and RPM make up for that. With two mod slots, customization is limited, but its knockdown power is undeniable. If there's a bone to pick, it's the reload time. A magazine-based weapon at 2.7 seconds? Really? I'm not sure what genius decided that. While taming this beast is needed, its slaughtering potential is worth it, because no matter what, you're always winning. The Enforcer is just like the Tsunami with Perfect Pummel, but it's the Super 90. The Super 90 comes with a slightly slower trigger and a manual reload that's a tag sluggish compared to the Tsunami. But here's the kicker, it packs a bigger punch. And let's not forget the aesthetics, it boasts a tight pellet pattern that's like a work of art. Here's the heartbreaker. This shotgun is exclusive to those who had the foresight to pre order. The Orbit is a DZ exclusive 586 Magnum pistol with the perfect finisher talent. Dispatch an enemy with the pistol and switch to your main and bam, enjoy a 35% crit hit chance and a hefty 40% crit hit damage increase for 15 seconds. With a potent base weapon, activating perfect finisher is a breeze, making it ideal for almost all damage focused builds. Integrating it into combat flow is key as long as your primary weapon's talent isn't adversely affected by swapping. And here's a neat twist, the talent offers a generous 10 second a grace period for you to hold the buff before you activate it. The Orbit isn't just coveted, it's an essential addition to your arsenal. The TDI Card Custom, a Dark Zone exclusive pistol that packs a punch and exciting potential. Its unique secondary attribute grants an extra skill tier becoming a catalyst for powerful builds. Equip it alongside the Technician Specialization, Brazos, and the Memento. Suddenly, you're stepping into the shoes of a formidable skill build juggernaut capable of dishing out devastating damage while sporting tank-like resilience. Yes, you heard right. And don't even get me started on the talent synergies this weapon offers. Talents like InSync synergizes perfectly. Even switching to this in a damage focused build offers quick healing, but perhaps the greatest achievement of this little marvel is how it's added to the landscape of build diversity. Bow down, for the White Death reigns supreme in the Halls of Glory. This exquisite M44, available in both LZ and DZ, is no mere rifle, it's a deity in the world of firearms, boasting an outrageous high base damage and a 100 137% perfect headshot stat. It's as if the gods themselves forged this masterpiece. The talent options are a grand feast of versatility, catering to all your head poppy needs. This isn't just about defeating foes, it's about obliterating them beyond recognition, leaving their loved ones scratching their heads at the morgue when it comes time to identify their bodies. Wielders of this weapon answer to nobody. The Burnout from Moss, a potent force and weaponry waiting in the LZ. Armed with perfect on empty, it's not just any FAMAS. Hold the trigger until empty, reload, and get a 40% weapon handling boost for 10 seconds. A seamless combo of faster reloads and precise shots. The FAMAS excels in burst damage, but noticeable recoil bothers many. Perfect on empty swoops in, solving this and more. It tames recoil and creates synergy. The result, a weapon that propels your performance to new heights. There you have it, the grand tale of the 66 named weapons in the Division 2. Did it, you guys. We're totally heroes. All neatly ranked in a way that's absolutely not your typical tier list. When I started this, I was clean shaven. Now look at me, part bear, part viking. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the bell icon, cause you know, YouTube algorithms and stuff. Here's 10 things I wish I knew sooner in the Division 2. Follow me. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.